Welcome, dear viewers, to this new video. In this video, we will learn step by step how to build the educational robot OMOB arm, which can be controlled via Bluetooth and an app on a smartphone. This robot is an excellent project for learning and applying concepts in robotics and mechatronics, especially for beginners. The OMOB arm robot can be controlled in real time, and positions can also be saved and replayed for automatic movements. The OMOB arm robot is a combination of the robotic arm OM arm and the mobile robot OMOB. We successfully built these two projects, and you can check the videos and blogs about them through the links above. Here, I have the mobile robot OMOB, and I also have the robotic arm OM arm. This is the OMOB arm robot. To merge OM arm and OMOB, I modified the base of the robotic arm. This base was merged into the top plate of the mobile robot to mechanically combine them. As for the electrical part, I added a voltage converter. I have this battery, which provides more than 7 volts. To change the voltage to match the requirement for servo motors, I added this converter. Then I added a servo motor controller, which is powered, as I mentioned, through this converter that reduces the voltage to 6 volts. Finally, I got the OMOB arm robot. As you can see, it consists of the mobile robot and the robotic arm. I will explain how to assemble the robot in this animation. After completing the design, I printed the parts as follows. After completing the 3D printing, I started assembling the robot. First, I removed unnecessary parts. Then I started assembling the robotic arm onto the new base. To route the wires, I made this hole in this base, so the wires could pass inside the mobile robot. After that, I soldered the voltage converter so that I could connect it to the battery and wires.
To ensure a 6 volt output, I adjusted the variable resistor on the converter using a multimeter to measure the voltage. The input was approximately 8 volts, and the output was precisely calibrated to 6 volts. I measured the electrical voltage at the output simultaneously. Afterward, I made the electrical connections based on the following circuit diagram, connecting the servo driver board, Bluetooth module, and voltage converter. Then I closed the robot by adding this base to the robot. Afterward, I removed the cover on the USB port and connected the robot to the computer. Then, I downloaded the program from GitHub and opened the Arduino code. This is the program I uploaded to the Arduino. It receives commands from an Android device and translates these commands into movements of DC motors or servo motors. Additionally, it saves positions and replays them for automatic movements of the robotic arm. After that, I copied the app, the Android application, to the Android device, installed it, and disconnected the robot. You can find the link to this blog in the description box, where I wrote about the project. You'll find a detailed explanation of all the steps as well as the program, along with the GitHub link and other resources. After finishing the program upload to the Arduino board and installing the app on the Android device, I connected to the Bluetooth module HC05 on the robot and started testing the movements of the mobile robot as well as the robotic arm. Additionally, I recorded and saved multiple positions and enabled automatic movement. The robot carried an object and moved it to another location.
And with this, we reach the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed and benefited from it. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel to stay connected with all the new content, and share your ideas and questions in the comments. Until next time, keep creating and exploring. Thank you for watching.